Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to all of you. All right. So, uh, let's, I, uh, let's, let's begin our class for today with a topic two. Before that, I have to share my screen. Wait a moment. Mm. Okay, all right guys. So, I hope you can see my screen now. All right, so today we have to talking, we have to discuss about topic two. The topic is pengenalan diri or in bahasa Inggeris, we call it self-introduction. Okay, so last class, okay. Last class, uh, what we will learn for the last time, I, I taught you how to read the syllable, how to read the words, and also how to read the sentence in the paragraph in bahasa Melayu. So I hope everybody... Uh, you you can read you can read bahasa Melayu with fluency with correctly okay so if you don't know how to read please produce uh, our class topic from a topic one so try to make uh, make it uh, some of revision all right okay so class this topic and the end of the this lesson you will be introduce, introducing yourself in Bahasa Melayu or in Malay language, okay? Believe me, you can do this. Actually, uh, part of introduce yourself, okay? I'm doing uh, start from the first class, okay? I'm doing it from the first class because I want to know who, who's my student. Is it you as somebody famous in outside? Is it you a son of a prime minister or a famous singer or famous artist in the outside? Okay, so I don't know who are you. So you have to introduce yourself because this is a Malay language class. So everybody must be introduce yourself, but must be done in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, don't worry. I try to teach you how to introduce one by one. All right. So I hope everybody, you are ready with our class today. All right. So uh, let's take a look for the first, first slide. Okay. Okay, look at class. Before we go into the topic two, I prepared to you a sum of a simple of paragraph. Try to read this. Okay, this is just a revision from the previous class. All right. So I try to read to all of you. Okay, uh, we just want to recap, recap about the pronunciation from the topic one. Okay, so guys, listen carefully. Ada sang ulat bulu. This is not you like bulu, eh? Because you is the letter. So the sound you is u. Ada sang ulat bulu. Punya kaki seribu. Sia. Sia. Not si. Eh? Not sa. But sia. Because this is a diphthong. Diphthong. Sia pa nampak kaki ku. Jikalau, also diphthong, jikalau tak nampak, terpaksa ku melompat dengan kakiku kurang satu. Right? So, I try to read again. Please follow me and we try to read together. Right? Okay, listen carefully. Let's begin our reading. Ada sang ulat bulu. Punya kaki seribu. Siapa nampak kakiku? Jikalau tak nampak, terpaksa ku melompat dengan kakiku kurang satu. Alhamdulillah. Masya Allah. Okay. You did it. Alright. So, class. That's all for our revision for today. So let's begin from our topics. Okay. All right. So before you uh, introduce yourself, okay, what the best way if you meet someone? You have to say with a greeting, right? Okay. What example for greeting? What is it? Okay, number one, maybe you want to say hi. And also want you want to say hello. Uh, for Muslim people, maybe they want to say Assalamu Alaikum. And also, you want to give the uh, greeting words with uh, based on the occurring time. 
Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Okay. All right. So there are as many greeting. Okay. All right. So for uh, today, I just uh, pick up a very famous words. Okay. As a greeting. This is a hi. Because when, when we meet someone, we have to say hi. Is it? Hi. Okay. Hi in English, the spell, uh, spelling is H-I. And also pronunciation, the same pronunciation, hi, but different spelling. H-A-I for Malay language. Hi, but even there are uh, different spelling, but they have a uh, same pronunciation. Hi in English, hi also in Bahasa Melayu. And then follow with the other sentence. Apa kabar? Apa Kabar. That means is how are you? How are you? Okay. So, uh, when someone asking uh, answer, you should be answer is kabar baik. Kabar baik. That means is I am fine. So the answer based on your situation. If you are unhealthy, you sick, you fever, you didn't say kabar baik. You have to say no. I'm fever today. Okay. It's up to you. All right. But just now, I just, I just, uh, guys, I just uh, assume every everyone um with a good health. Okay, so you have to answer kabar baik because they are take care of you. So you have to say thank you. Is it apa kabar? Kabar baik. Thank you. Okay, kabar baik. Terima kasih. Okay, so we have to when someone say terima kasih, we have to say sama sama. Okay, sama, sama. All right, so I repeat again. Hi. And the second one said, Hi. Apa kabar? Kabar baik. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Uh, okay, got it? All right, so this is a great thing. Okay, if you want to give a great thing based on the time, hello cats, maybe you want to say, uh, Good morning. Good morning. That means it's Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. Alright. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. That means is selamat tengah hari. Try to remember, try to memorize this vocab. Alright. Because I have uh, some of activity to do it. To do it you. Okay. To do it you. Alright. Selamat pagi. Good morning. Selamat tengah hari. Good afternoon. Right, so uh, continue. Good evening. We call Selamat Petang. Selamat Petang. All right, night. Selamat Malam. Selamat Malam. Okay. All right, so please remember this vocabulary. And also, welcome. Welcome. I mean, it's Selamat Datang. For example, welcome to University Putra Malaysia. So, I mean, it's Selamat Datang ke University Putra Malaysia. Okay. All right, guys. This is a very important. Uh, if you find the words welcome, they have two meaning. Right? They have two meaning of welcome. Number one, when someone say thank you, okay, some of people they answer welcome. So the meaning is sama sama. Okay. Thank you. And the answer is welcome. Thank you. The meaning is terima kasih. The meaning is welcome for sama sama. But when I say uh, welcome to University Putra Malaysia, I mean it's selamat datang. University, University Putra Malaysia. It doesn't mean sama-sama ke, uh, ke University Putra Malaysia. No, eh? I mean it's selamat datang, not sama-sama ke University Putra Malaysia. Okay? So, the meaning is relate the, with the situation. Okay? Please uh, relate with the situation. If someone say thank you, so the meaning is sama-sama. Okay? Uh, when someone invites you to go to somewhere, so the meaning is selamat datang. All right. And next, okay, goodbye. Right, goodbye. So the meaning is selamat jalan. Selamat jalan. All right. Uh, and then see you later. Okay.
Okay, so I meet this. I hope one day we can meet again. Alright, so the meaning is jumpa lagi. Jumpa lagi. Alright, selamat datang. Selamat jalan. Jumpa lagi. Alright, so. Yes, this is the activity uh, I want to do with you all. Alright. So look at this is a vocabulary. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Welcome. See you later and goodbye. Okay, so I tried to delete this part. Okay. So I uh, I want to ask you so please answer me in Malay language all right Okay so I read in bahasa Inggeris so you have to answer me in bahasa Melayu okay All right so let's begin What the meaning of hi Good morning Good afternoon Evening, good night. What the answer? All right. So I hope everybody, everyone, you can answer what the meaning in this object. Okay. Let's continue. How are you? How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Welcome. See you later. And the last thing is goodbye. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you can answer okay, what the meaning in Bahasa Melayu. Okay. I just to remind you, this vocabulary is very important because uh, at the end of the topics, okay, in topics, I mean, you have to do some of a uh, presentation and your presentation must be done in Bahasa Melayu. So this vocabulary is very important to you to practice in your uh, presentation, okay? Uh, so try to use this vocabulary in your daily life, if not, you will forget, all right? Uh, so that's all about the great thing. So let's continue. Okay, so I prepared to you also the simple conversation about Alina and Arif, okay? I tried to read for each sentence and you have to follow me and try to find the meaning, okay? Because the sentence are very easy and also the sentence are very basic. I, what I tried to talk to you the last time. Alina say, hi, selamat petang. Okay, what the meaning that? Hi, selamat petang. What the meaning? Hi, good evening. Alright, so Arif say, selamat petang. Good evening too. Alina say, nama saya Alina. Apa kabar? Okay, actually Alina try to introduce herself. My name is Alina. How are you? And Arif answer, nama saya Arif, saya kabar baik. Uh, I mean, Arif say, my name is Arif and I'm fine. Thank you. And Alina uh, say, selamat datang ke University Putra Malaysia. Welcome to University Putra Malaysia. Arif say, terima kasih Alina. Thank you Alina. Alina say, Sama-sama. Arif said, jumpa lagi. And Alina said, jumpa lagi. Alright? So that's all about a simple conversation. You can practice uh, this dialogue with your partner, alright, surrounding you. Maybe you can do it with your uh, brother, sister. Uh, it's up to you, okay? Alright, so now, okay. We're going to the second part for today. This is a very important where everybody have to introduce yourself but must, must be done in Bahasa Melayu. Okay. So guys, alright. So don't worry. I prepared to you a simple essay. 
Okay, this is the example of self introduction in Bahasa Melayu. Look at okay for the first word for the first sentence. Uh, they start with the greeting. What the greeting is? Hi. Okay, if you want to put hello, if you want to put selamat malam, selamat pagi, it's up to you, right? Hi, semua. Let's meet this. Hi, everybody. Nama saya Amina. Okay, my name is Amina. Okay, this is your name lah. So you have to change the detail with, uh, with your detail, all right? Mine, for example, me. Nama saya Hidayah. Nama saya, saya Liu Mewe. Nama saya Chong Meng Meng. Alright? So, it's up to you. Nama saya Amina. Okay, so, we are talking about Amina. Saya datang dari Arab Saudi. Uh, I mean, Amina come from Arab Saudi. Okay? Umur saya 26 tahun. Uh, when we are talking about the number, for sure, uh, is it about their age? Okay, I am 26 years old. Saya belajar di Fakulti Pengajian Pendidikan. I'm studying at Faculty. Faculty what? You have to put your faculty name. Okay, Fakulti Pengajian Pendidikan. I mean, it's Faculty of Education, right? Faculty Pengajian Pendidikan is Faculty of Education. So you have to find your faculty name, okay? So they are very important. You have to uh, find your faculty name in Bahasa Melayu, all right? Uh, how to find your faculty name? Please look at, at UPM website. Uh, if you not, try to find also in with a reliable website, okay? You will be find your faculty name. Okay, I tell you this part a very important because in your test one, okay, in your test one, you have to introduce yourself to examiner. When examiner asking you where are you studying, please not, don't answer. I'm studying at University of Putra Malaysia because you are my student. For sure, you as you need you am student. But the examiner want to know where are you study, which one name of your faculty name, all right? Your faculty name in UPM. So try to find your faculty name in Bahasa Melayu. Right. I remind also, please don't try to use a Google Translate because Google Translate is not educated. All right. So to try to find your faculty name in reliable website or in UPM website with Bahasa Melayu version. Okay. Okay. Continue. Saya tinggal di Taman Seri Serdang. That means it's where are you live now? Even you come from China, you come from your Nigeria. You come from your country, but now where are you stay? Where are you live? Okay. Saya bujang. If you are single, this is part for marital status. If you are single, you should you you should uh, say saya bujang. But if you married or again, you have to say saya sudah berkahwin. Okay. Saya sudah berkahwin. And the last thing, share a little bit thing with about you. Hobi saya memasak. This is your hobby lah. Okay. But if your hobby more than one, you have to put N. Or in Bahasa Melayu, we call it dan. Hobi saya memasak dan memancing, for example. Okay. So guys, this is the example of self-introduction in Bahasa Melayu. You can copy... And try to use this script and replicate with your detail. All right. So don't worry, guys. I try to teach you one by one. Before that, okay. Uh, I try to make it a simple summarize. What you have to introduce. This is the item. First of all, all right. You have to introduce me about your name. Nama. Nama. That's mean, that's mean it's name. I mean it's your name. Umur, this is age, your age. Asal or negara, I mean this is your origin. Your country, where are you come from? Alright. Tempat tinggal, I mean it's your resident now, where are you live now? Faculty, faculty, same pronunciation with 
English but different spelling. Faculty. Status perkahwinan. Marital status. And the last thing is same pronunciation. Hobby. Also hobby in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, class. Before I go to the next slide, I would like to share with you and I remind again, this item, you have to memorize what the meaning that. Because next week, okay, next week, uh, the first question from the examiner, you have to introduce yourself, but the examiner just give you a few items only. They don't want to know all about you, but they just want to know a few things. Actually, they just give you four or five things. For example, for example, the examiner say, uh, perkenalkan diri anda tentang nama, umur, tempat tinggal and faculty. Four item. Nama, umur, tempat tinggal and faculty. Okay. So what the examiner need is, you have to introduce about your name, your age, your resident and your faculty only. Uh, please don't uh, explain more. If you explain more than what uh, the examiner need, that's mean you uh, did not understand uh, what, uh, what the question is, right? Uh, okay, so try to memorize what the meaning for each item, okay? I know lah because I'm also the examiner, right? Uh, so believe me, okay. So let's, we are going to the first slide uh, about how to introduce yourself. First of all, I would like to read to all of you the name of the country. Why uh, I have to read the name of the country? Because the name of the country in, uh, in the words, a different pronunciation with English and Bahasa Melayu. Okay? Because of, in English, they call it USA as United States of America. Okay? But Malay language in Malaysia, we call it America Sharikat. We did not say USA. No. We have to say America Sharikat. You come from USA, you have to say saya datang dari America Sharikat. Not saya datang dari USA. Right? Canada. Okay, the son of K because this is the uh, English word. Canada. Okay, but in Bahasa Melayu, Canada. Because the, because the sound of K, that's why we start from the letter K. Canada. Okay? Saudi Arabia. The Italic word is the uh, English word. Eh? All right. Normal word is Malaysian word. Saudi Arabia. For Malaysia, we call it Arab Saudi. Singapore. Singapura. Poland or Netherlands. Malaysia called Belanda. United Arab Emirates. Malaysia said Amiria Arab Bersatu. France. Malaysia said Perancis. Italy. Italy. Malaysia said Italy. South Africa. Malaysia said Africa Selatan. Philippines. Malaysia said Filipina. Japan, Malaysia, Malaysia said Jepun, Cambodia, Cambodia, Lebanon, Lebanon, Germany, German, Spain, Spanish, Egypt, Mesir, North Korea, Korea Utara. Morocco, Maghribi, these republics, Republic Chess, Palestine, Palestine. Okay? All right, so for those, if your country is not in the slide, okay, like in Libya, Yemen, Iraq, India, India, China, Indonesia, okay, actually your country, still the same names. Are in English, right? So now you can put down what your uh, what 
uh, Malaysia uh, call for your name of your country. Okay. All right, so we go to the next slide. Okay, so this is a list of hobby. Actually, in the world, they have so many hobbies, so many things we can do it, right? So I did not put everything. I did not put everything in my slide because I, I did not, um, what we call it? I did not prepare everything to you. So you have to find with your own, your hobby, because I don't know what's your hobby. Okay, I just put a few off on me, all right? For example, okay, membaca buku. Membaca buku. This is not membaca buku because sound of C is C. Sound of E is C. Is it not K? Okay, membaca buku. The meaning is reading. Menonton television. Same words in English but different spelling. Watching television. Okay, if you love to, if you like to watching cinema, you can change the word television and then put a cinema. Menonton wayang. Watching cinema. Right. So next, berjoging. Berjoging. I mean, it's jogging. Jogging. Okay. Bermain badminton. Bermain badminton. On. Okay, playing badminton. Okay, if you love to play with another sport, okay, uh, like a football, like a netball, you can change the word, the name of the sport here. For example, playing football, bermain bola sepak. You have to find the name of the sport in name of the sport in bahasa Melayu. Okay, melan. Melancung or kong? Melancung or melangkung? What is it? Sound of C. Melancung. Uh, this is a not melangkung because sound C is C. Melancung. The meaning is traveling. Right. Memasak. Like Amina hobby. Memasak. The meaning is cooking. Membeli belah. Is it a shopping? Mendengar music. Listen to music. Alright? Okay, so settle. I just put a few of these of hobby only. If your hobby is not here, you have to find your hobby. Must be uh, with the meaning in Bahasa Melayu. Okay? Alright guys, so you got it? Okay, so I have to go to the next slide. Alright, so how to tell your age in Bahasa Inggris? I mean, it's how to tell your age in English language. Okay, for example, before you want to you tell your age in English, you have to know what the numbers we call it in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, what the numbers we call it in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, let's count together in Bahasa Melayu. Alright, number one. Satu. Satu. Number two. Dua. Dua. The sound is, okay, the sound is Dua. Uh, the sound is like that. Because uh, it is a diphthong, so um, we don't have letter W. Dua. Okay, is, is that the diphthong? So the sound is Dua. Okay. Uh, all right, so continue. Number three. Tiga. Tiga. Number four. Empat. Number five. Lima. Number six. Enam. Number seven. Tujuh. Number eight. Lapan. Number nine. Sembilan. Number ten. Number 10, what is it? Sepulo. Number 10 is Sepulo. Okay. All right. So, everybody, how to introduce, how to tell your age in Bahasa Melayu? Look at 
Okay, if your age is 21, 21, okay, 21, 21 years old. How to mean, how to say, how to say, how to tell you age are in Bahasa Melayu? Okay, number two is dua, right? Number one is satu. So, we have to read dua puluh satu tahun. Okay, puluh, this is a mandatory. You have to put. And puluh, we use for adult only. Okay, if you adult, you have to put puluh. Dua puluh satu tahun. Okay, when the examiner asking you what your age, so you have to uh, say dua puluh satu tahun. If you just say dua puluh satu only, for sure, as a minimum, will be asking you dua puluh satu what? Dua puluh satu pieces, dua puluh satu minutes, what is it? Okay, don't forget about the, the word tahun. Dua puluh satu tahun. Okay, if your age is 30, okay, uh, 30, how to mention 30 years old? What number three in Bahasa Melayu? Tiga, right? Tiga, puluh. Okay, what number zero in Bahasa Melayu? Because, because this is a zero, so it doesn't meaning, so no need to put. We have to say tiga puluh tahun only. When, uh, 30 years old, that's all. Okay, 30 years old. 30 years old, all right? So, I say you can use word pulo for adult. What happens if you, your age is 10 years old only? Because 10 years old, is she is not adult. She is still kids, right? Because 10 is se pulo, So, you have to put se pulo. Okay, se pulo. Because pulo already here. So, no need to, to say sepuluh. Uh, no need to say because they are kids. Okay, sepuluh tahun. Uh. Okay, class. What happen if you are teenagers? Uh, you are teenagers. Okay, this is a different method. Because if you are teenagers, we have to start with the last numbers. With the last number. For example, we did not start from the from the first number, but the last one. For example, number nine. Number nine is sembilan. So you have to put sembilan belas, not puluh. Okay, not puluh. Sembilan belas. Number H is lapan, right? So lapan belas. What number seven in Bahasa Melayu? Tujuh. Tujuh belas. Okay, number six in Bahasa Melayu? Enam belas. What number five in Bahasa Melayu? Lima. Lima belas. What number four in Bahasa Melayu? Empat. Empat belas. What number three in Bahasa Melayu? Tiga. Tiga what? Tiga belas. Number two, dua. Dua what? Dua belas. Okay. But for number eleven, we did not say satu belas. No, it's not the answer. Not satu belas. Okay, sebelas. So set that. So I hope everyone you got it. How to tell your HR in Bahasa Melayu. Okay. So I was thinking we have finished already. Uh, the item how to introduce yourself. All right. So I try to make it a simple summarize. What you have to tell us, what you have to share with us. Okay, first of all, you have to tell us about your name. Okay, how to write down the sentence. Nama saya Chilele, for example. Okay, nama saya, put your name here. Right? Asal, your country, your origin. Saya datang dari, saya datang dari China. Or you want to say, saya berasal. Dari China. So I give you two methods. You have to choose which one easy to pronounce. Okay. Umur. 
your age. Umur saya, how many old are you? Okay. Or you want to say also, saya berumur. Uh, so it's up to you lah. Uh, and then, uh, where are you study? Your faculty name. Saya belajar di faculty. Uh, find your faculty name uh, in Bahasa Melayu. Please don't answer me. Saya belajar di University Putra Malaysia. Okay, I'm not accept the answer. Okay. I want to know what's your faculty name. Tinggal di mana? Your resident, your live now. Saya tinggal di where? Saya tinggal di Serdang. Alright, marital status. Okay, for red color, I try to put the red color. Alright. If you are single. If you are single, you have to say, Saya bujang or saya belum berkahwin. But if you are married already, you have to say, saya sudah berkahwin. Okay. Hobby. Maybe you want to start with hobby saya. What is it? What's your hobby? Or you want to say, saya suka. Blah, 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 blah. What is it? Okay. If your hobby just one, you have to say, hobby saya memasak. Full stop. If your hobby more than one, more than two, you have to use comma and end. For example, hobi saya memasak, membaca buku dan melancong. Okay, so class, I hope you got it. What I try to teach for today, okay? Because I tell you the objectives at, uh, at the end of this uh, uh, our lesson for today. You can, uh, you will be introducing yourself uh, in Bahasa Melayu, right? So, uh, I was thinking I finished already. So, you have to introduce yourself. Um, must be in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, so, where you want to introduce yourself? Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, look at class. Okay, I prepared to you uh, exercise. How to find this exercise? Please download from Putra Blast. Okay, please download uh, all of exercise in Putra Blast. If you have a problem to log in Putra Blast, uh, please uh, put your request, put your inquiry uh, to SDS School of Graduates. Okay. All right, and asking them why I did not uh, log, uh, I can log in to Trablas, okay? Because this is, I did not in touch about the system, okay? And also, I will help you. I tried to put this material in our WhatsApp group, okay? You can get and the all of material from WhatsApp group, okay? Okay, this is your exercise. Number one, what you have to do, you have to write a short essay about your self-introduction, okay? Uh, your essay should be include all the points below. Okay, this is what I tried to talk to you the last time. Okay, please tell us about your nama, what the meaning of nama. Okay, please give uh, our lecture note. Asal, umur, faculty, tempat tinggal, status, and hobby. Write down your answer in this column, right? Number two. Rearrange the words into a correct uh, sentence. Okay, just rearrange only. Please don't put uh, the extra word. Okay, please did not add on the extra word. Just rearrange only. Okay, I hope everybody uh, try to complete, uh, try to fill the answer for each question, each part. Question number one, and, uh, question number two. Okay, because this exercise will be help you to pass in your test one because uh, your test your question test one is same like this okay uh, is it not same lah but i mean it's similar that's why i told you the exercise will be help you to pass for your um test one okay and last last thing is uh, this exercise no need to submit 
Okay? No need to submit. You have to fill. And then we will discuss on this Thursday our, uh, during, during, during our class. All right? So I'm waiting for your answer. Uh, this Thursday, we will discuss the all of uh, answer. Uh, if did not done, I will put the, the answer in our WhatsApp group at the end of the Thursday class. Okay, so you can check the answer with your own. Right? All right, class. Um, if you still have any inquiries about our class for today, please uh, drop your inquiries in our WhatsApp group. As soon as possible, I try to reply. Okay? Okay, class, that's all for today. Okay? I hope you enjoy with our short class and try to complete the all of exercise. And Assalamualaikum and jumpa lagi. Goodbye, everybody. Assalamualaikum.